We'll begin by attaching the exhalation diaphragm to the ventilator, being careful that it's fully seated all the way around. Next, we'll attach the exhalation valve body by inserting it into the keyed slots and rotating it until it locks into place. Finally, we'll attach the expiratory flow sensor by inserting it into the side port on the exhalation valve body and then attach the sense lines to the front of the ventilator, making sure to retract the locking collar before inserting the connector and then confirming it's locked in place with the collar forward after attachment. Finally, we'll attach the breathing circuit, beginning with the inspiratory filter, then the inspiratory limb of the circuit, and finally the expiratory limb of the circuit to the exhalation valve body. You're now ready to begin operational verification testing. To do this, simultaneously hold down the accept key on the front of the ventilator while switching the power on at the rear of the ventilator. It's normal for the ventilator to alarm during this process. Beginning the process requires confirmation that the patient is not connected to the ventilator. Press the patient removed button to move to the next step of the test. The lamp test blinks seven of the LEDs on the front panel of the ventilator so that you can confirm that they are functioning. The switch test will allow you to confirm the functioning of the 11 buttons located on the front panel of the ventilator. As you press each button in sequence, its label will be displayed in the lower left hand corner of the display allowing you to confirm the functioning of the buttons. The alarm test allows you to confirm the functioning of the audible alarm. The leak test pressurizes the circuit to test for leaks. You must have the patient Y occluded or connected to a rigid test lung to perform this test. A pass-fail message will be delivered in the lower left-hand corner of the display when the test is complete. Extended functions gives you access to the FiO2 monitor calibration, which must be done off patient. Detailed instructions can be found in Chapter 2 of the Operator's Manual. Pressing the exit button will restart the VELA for patient use.